If you're deciding between JavaScript or Python, I'm gonna say go with JavaScript. There's a couple of reasons why. All right, well, let's think about it. The first thing is the reason why um, you're not technical right now is probably because maybe you're somebody who's a little bit more eccentric. Maybe you're somebody who, you know, kind of likes to see what they build, you know? So a lot of people who try to get into programming come from, you know, cool fields like maybe sales, um, maybe content creation, uh, maybe, you know, e-commerce and somehow real estate. I mean, these are the people that are kind of looking at coding and programming and going, oh, that's something that I should do or want to do. Python is a pure, <laughs> just pure, pure numbers, man. All right. So of course at scale, you can do yeah. some pretty cool things with Python, but you know, when it comes to JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and being a web developer, all the apps that you guys like to play with and use in your daily lives, you know, they're, they're, they're in that world of web development. Obviously, if you're doing something on your phone, you're do, using uh, you know React Native, but generally you want to see what you're building, okay? You want some hot reload going on where you're building something out and you are watching what you're building come to life. I just think human nature has not really made it so that most people will be Python developers. <laughs> I think human nature has made it so that since we're so visual, that most people should be <laughs> web developers, use JavaScript, because I think that you just have to be a certain type of person to learn Python. Okay, this is my boy, Kyler Ryberg. Me and him are two completely different people, okay? We both went and paid money to a boot camp, uh, $9,000 to a boot camp, um, where we were both doing uh, web development. And slowly but surely, he started to learn Python. And now he is pretty much all in on Python. And I'm like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Because when me and Kyler are in the office, he can go the entire day without saying a word to me. But I know he's still my guy. Like, he's still my best friend. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> at the end of the day, I just feel like, you know, if you're eccentric, if you're somebody who's a lot more visual, then yes, I would pick JavaScript um, over Python. And of course, there's gonna be a lot of naysayers. And of course, people are gonna be like, nah, dude, you can, you know, figure out different ways to render Python to your UI. It's like, okay, look, I use Python. I'm using a Python library right now called Control Flow, where I'm kind of looking into it call control flow for some, you know, agentic workflow operations for my project. All right. So I'm using Python. Um, you know, I'm in a Python library, so it's the easiest language to learn. All right. I get all that. But the thing is, you know, um, it's just for my back end. It's not for my front end. You know, we're deployed using Next.js. Uh, and so, you know, most of what we do is coding out you know, the front end of our platform. And then when we need to communicate with our DB or whatever, then for sure there at that point, you know, we can kind of start digging into different libraries and even different languages to make that kind of shit happen. But um, by and large, if you're just getting started, go with JavaScript. The community is absolutely massive. If you want to join a community where people are coding every single night, that's what we're doing inside of our community, link down in our bio. We have 15 JavaScript projects, by the way, if you have no idea what you're doing, in the bio down below, so you guys can go check those out, because um, they're gonna help you kind of understand a little bit more about the JavaScript syntax and how it's object-oriented and all that kind of stuff. Um, so make sure you guys check that out down below. And again, you know, this is just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get some heat for it, but those are probably gonna come from Python developers. And there's an old saying about Python developers. You know you're working with a Python developer if when they look at you, when they talk to you, they're staring at their shoes. <laughs> that's the truth. Python developers are, uh, let's just say a little bit more, uh, not as social, okay? I'm just kidding. I love all Python. I'm a Python developer too, all right? But anyway, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out.